What's up, Summoner? Soul Renekton only here back from another daily commentary. Daily Renekton commentary. Um, I'm playing against Heimerdinger today. That's gonna kinda suck. Uh, <laughs> uh, Heimerdinger is pretty decent against Renekton. If you know how to play Heimerdinger in lane, basically what's gonna end up happening is he's gonna set up his turns in these bushes typically. Typically, what they do is they set him up in this one first, and then they try and just hold the mid lane, or just hold like the middle of the lane. And then they slowly uh, start putting more like here. And then they just keep ward coverage of this area. And then he keeps himself positioned here. Pretty much like Heimerdinger is all about your zone control. And like, so it's all about positioning your towers correctly, positioning your wards correctly in a safe that, in a spot that keeps you safe and forces someone to like dive you. And he also has uh, exhaust. So there's, I have literally like zero kill potential on him. Uh, unless it's like the perfect situation, it's going to be very, very difficult for me to kill him. And that makes him really strong in like an all-in. So like if I pop my ult, even if I hit 6, we both hit 6, and I pop my ult and I go all-in on him. If he just throws his large uh, turret down and he exhausts me, he probably should be able to survive my all-in. Because he can kite back. Like after he exhausts me, he should be able to land a stun on me because I'm super slowed. Ah, oh, the poke damage. <laughs> Alright. He's actually smart that they're holding two positions like this. Because it keeps vision control over the entire jungle. Yeah, so I'm expecting just to be shoved into tower this entire lane. And hopefully... You see, the problem against Heimerdinger is like, he's going to be shoved the whole time, right? So it's like, oh, I want to gank him. But if you don't have the right champions and you don't gank correctly, it's like super hard to gank this champion. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's playing a more defensive style, it looks like. So he's setting him back up there. Okay, that means I don't want to push the wave. I want to force him to have to replace uh, the turns. Huh. I hope he was helping blue. <laughs> I mean, he has two towers here, so it's very unlikely that he just stole our red. I know some uh, Heimerdinger players will, like, steal the opponent's, like, buff at the start. Like, I've seen it done a few times. It's rather frustrating. But it doesn't look like he's doing that. So, I'm just trying to farm. Okay, so his third one's in that bush over there. That's good to know. I'll take my E second here. Oops. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be just a farm game. If I can try and... Try and bait him into, like, auto-attacking me. If I can bait him into auto-attacking me, he'll shove the wave. So I'm just going to, like, sit here. See if he autos me. Oh, got to dodge that, though. Because if he autos me, my minions will aggro to him. And that means he'll stop attacking his minions. Thus pushing the wave. Got my level 3. And if the wave gets pushed, that means all of his... Alright, nice. So the wave's definitely pushing now. So, in a pushed wave, he's actually in a very bad position because he has to replace his towers. So his back line is actually not that great right now. Alright. And I took out that one. And his wave's still pushing, so this is all good for me. I want to trim off a little bit of these. Keep the, keep the wave pushing, though. And I want to try and get bush control here. I'm keeping my ward. I want to hold the wave like right here. So I'm going to use the bush and let him aggro onto myself. Just so I can position it correctly. Because now he's actually uh, pretty overexposed to a gank right now. Oops. I think he warded river though. Yeah, he did. He warded river. This isn't going to work. Not going to work. I want to keep the wave here, so I'm just going to drop aggro again. Oh wow, that was lame. <laughs> I lost both those peeps. Oops. Oh my god, no way. I just lost two peeps randomly. We're okay though. It's not a big deal. It's like no man, I'm pretty sure I can just all in him right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'll trade flash for flash, and then I'm just gonna run. Whoop, just gonna run like this, so he can't. His towers don't aggro to me. 
I can just take that one out. And I can look for the same play, because now he doesn't have any mana at all. So all I'd have to worry about is his powers. Yeah, I just got a really good opportunity to move in on him right there. And I'm just going to try and take this. We get a ward down a river right here. It's a Lisa in jungle, so those ganks are a little scary. Um, I'm just going to let the wave push back out. Hopefully he'll go back to base right now. Oh shit. My alarm on my phone is going off. My bad. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure he's going to back right here. Oh yeah, he's, I think he's already back, so I want to shove. The reason why I said he's already back is because of you can see the animation on his tower. That is like uh, going into shutdown mode or whatever the hell it is. So it obviously means he went back. I should actually shove another wave. Especially the fact that this is a cannon in the wave. Because he's not going to be able to shove me into tower that fast. Oh my god, real. Whatever, that's fine. Got level 6. I'm just going to head back now. Um, oh wow, look at this build. Holy Jesus. Um, hmm. Alright, I have an idea of what I want to do this game. I'll buy a lot of health pots here. Yikes. He just got popped by Gragas. Okay. So, what I'm going to try and do is go for a hex strength there. And... They have a lot of magic damage. Hmm. I'm just going to go with a hex trigger right now and see where I want to go from there. I actually did really good CSing early game. And I did pre pretty well at denying him as well. Just by putting him in a dangerous position. And the fact that his towers couldn't like auto everything for him. Plus, I think the AI from the tower is like is harder now to last hit. So again, I'm just gonna let the wave push, and then look to make a good play on him. All right, got a little bit of damage on him right there. <laughs> he has three health pots. I have four. Plus, I have an eight sustain in my kit, so I should be able to out sustain. Oh no, I missed that minion. Should be able to out sustain him quite easily. Okay. And we'll see what I want to get. I might go like Mercs and uh, Mercs and like Hex Drinker. I think would be like ridiculously good. Mercs is gonna give me bonus movement speed. It's gonna reduce the his lockdown on me. Uh, I probably shouldn't have ulted. I probably should have just disengaged. That's okay. Once this thing dies, I can go back in. And I have full rage now, so I'm actually in a decent position. Keep popping health bots. Yeah, I forced out a lot of his mana there, and I'm going to be able to sustain through this. So I think I, I think that was a very good trade for me. We both used our ultimate, but I'm going to come out ahead. Oops, I got hit by that. I just got to pop one more health pot, and I should be good. Alright. It should be very good right now. He's got a really early game focus build. He's got triple Doran, so he's just trying to not die. But he's not doing the greatest job with that. Pop one more health bot. And the second my E comes back up, I'm probably going to look to all in. I think he's going to have to back here. I might use this minion to dash too. Okay, never mind. Alright, we're going to get his minions killed here. Oh shit, I'm gonna lose this. Oh! He does so much damage. Oh my god, I got wrecked. Damn. I underestimated him really hard right there. I should have just kept making the play that I was doing. Damn, I really misplayed. Wow. <laughs> oh, I underestimated him so hard. Jesus, that was so much damage to deal with. That was a very, very big mistake by me. I underestimated him so hard. I even just talked about his build and the fact that he exhausts. Oh, that was so dumb. Okay. That was very dumb. I guess I got his exhaust with my ignite. So maybe this all in next time with my ult. With both of us not having our secondary summoner. But we both have flash up because we used our flash at the same time. 
Uh, that's very dead. I'll have Hexdrinker this time too, so that should help as well. I should have just kept making the play I was making. I was slowly whittling him down. I just needed to wait till I was full health and just keep doing like those good pokes that I was doing. I shouldn't have tried to commit for the all-in yet. Damn. Sometimes, like, top lane is really all about getting these little advantages and snowballing them. And right there was an example of trying to make too big of an advantage happen when there was really no need for it. Like, I was I was winning with the little advantages. I got, like, two over eager, and I tried to make, like, one huge advantage, which is getting a kill. I flashed there so we could guarantee this initiate. Uh, yeah, I flat. He he did a does. All right, I'll explain what happened in a second. I just want to clear out this mini wave, make sure I don't die. Um, that was a very 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 intelligent gank. By, oh, intelligent gank by the Wukong. So what he did right there is he knows this was this was warded. So he came and he stealth through, and then he got picked up with the stealth like right when he was here, and that's why you saw me flash because that was when the, uh, the other guy was going to start backing up. And if I flashed before him and I could get the stun on first, I knew that Wukong could follow up with this ultimate. So I flashed and got the stun, Wukong followed up with his ultimate, and then the guy couldn't... At that point, he couldn't flash away, because if he flashed away, he would just die. So his only play was to try and, uh... Try and, like, all-in us back, and try and turn it and get a kill. And he got pretty close. I think Wukong had to flash away at the end there. But it worked out quite well. Like I said, you really have to do very good ganks against him, because he gets such good lane control. Like, he had the ward, and then he had his towers, so it's like, you have to fight him in his towers, which is an advantage for him, or you walk through the ward, and then he just sees you, and he walks away. And then, he, that's that's obviously another advantage for him, because he just wasted your jungler's time. So, I'm gonna try and let him push again. Because I liked having him in an overextended lane. I think that's really the best position you could be in in this matchup. And I have boots too now, so I should be able to, like, run him down. So what I think I want to do is wait for my ultimate to come back up, try and let him shove me in, and then like freeze the wave out here, and try and, uh, nice. And then try and like run him down in the long lane with my ultimate igniting boots too. He has boots too as well, so I don't know. I'm slightly faster than him, I have 5 movement speed on him. Wow, that's really good. Nearly just got a triple kill. Uh, I ended up having to break it. Ouch. That poke damage. Gotta pop a health pot here. The other thing is, I'm really good in an all-in because I have Hatch Drinker, so that gives me a huge magic shield against him, which is obviously really important. Uh, I'm not sure if I can really all-in him right now. I'm kind of scared. I think I need, like, full rage and a good fight. Which, I kind of just need to... Oh... Wow. So I kind of need to just wait for that. Uh, I have Wukong coming back up here. Let's see if I can kill this. Dodge out on that one. He's just going to put another one down. So there's the exhaust on me. But I'm pretty sure we have this guy dead. And there's my shield. See what I mean? The shield would have kept me alive no matter what. So I should be able to grab this minion as well. Nice. Alright, so that worked out. Again, I just uh, started the initiate before he got there. So before my, before he had the chance to react. Like, I knew my jungle would follow up. So. Very easy. And I'm just going to try and push tower here. I know he's dead still, so. I have a 30 CS advantage, I'm going to get a little bit bigger advantage, because I have all these minions to clear out. Alright, whoops. Don't want to do that, just want to head back to base right now. Um, actually I need to go defend mode. I'm trying to come, but I'm pretty sure they have this. I mean, yeah. We can probably fight this. He lands it, nice. Uh, he's gonna try and kick him. I'm just autoing right now because I can't really do much else. If he goes in on this, I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. 
I have enough uh, for a Q. I think I need to back here. But I want to be involved in this gold. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna back up now. They have to be careful. I need to go cover top lane. I'm gonna pick up some more magic resist right now. I'm going kind of a defensive build, but I think it's actually decent in this situation. And if I want more damage, I can just finish a mod next. That's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. I think Balls did something similar to this the other day. I think it's a decent build. I mean, Ma's not a great up, like an amazing upgrade, but it does give you a lot of extra damage. And when you're low HP, it's basically equivalent to having a Bloodthirster, so. Quite solid. Get the extra gold from all these. Just a little bit extra, five gold, I'll take it. And I think it counts as an extra CS, if I'm not mistaken. So I get to pad those stats. Uh, see if I can trade back this tower. Oh, no, no, he's out of here. Okay, we're getting a dragon for it, so it's not that big of a deal. Oh, yeah, I should have saw that coming. Once I saw him moving, I kind of realized that was happening. So that's why I started running away. Because the only reason he would run past the minion waves is if someone's sitting in that bush waiting for me. Like, why else would he ever run past those minions? <laughs> when he was sitting behind them every single time before. So, it's a really important thing to, like, identify... Oh my god, I'm losing so much HP. Jesus. It's a really... I have no armor, that's why. It's a really good thing to identify, uh... Like, your opponent's movements. Like, right there is... He telegraphed exactly what was happening. Like, it was so obvious. So you have to, like, identify those things. And play accordingly. I think I'm just gonna back right here. And pick up some more uh, damage. Uh, we should have enough to kill him. Okay. I'm going to start working toward a Maw. I think it'll be pretty good. And then I'm, I'm going to need some uh, armor item as well. Because I'm going to get wrecked by Lucian and Lee Sin if I don't. Because I'm basically building only magic resist right now. I'm heavily building for my lane. But it should work. It should be fine. Um, I might, I think I'm gonna offer a Sunfire Cave here, over the Randuins. I think these team fights I'm gonna be alive for a while, and get a lot of damage off on people. Plus I don't really need the attack speed, uh, slow. Like, it would be nice, but it's not, like, necessary. It's not like I'm playing against someone who's extremely attack speed reliant. It's, it's Lucian, he's really more, I don't wanna say he's like an 80 caster, but he's less reliant on attack speed. But it does increase his ultimate. I don't know. I'm coming back. I, I know the juggler was like... Uh... Whatever, Vayne's gonna kill him. Uh, I might be able to get in on this guy here. Let's see if I can wait in the bush and do something. No. He's afraid of me. He's, got, he's going for his Zonius. I think I'm just gonna shove. This build's pretty interesting. You get a decent amount of damage. Problem is, you don't get lifesteal. But you, you trade that off with, uh... You trade off not having lifesteal with having... Um... Sorry. I, I'm trying to think of and play at the same time. You don't have lifesteal, but you, you also have some sort of a sustain because you take reduction in damage because you have MR. So, it's not necessarily the same thing, it, it, the playstyles differ, because you don't have a way to replace your health, so each point of health is somewhat more valuable. But, you do have a form of sus sustain, because you reduce his damage. Wow, did he just die to dragon or some shit? What? Oh, he missed that. I'm gonna all in him. Alright. I just disengage, and then... In a couple seconds, I'm going to go back in with my E and Flash. So, I'm pretty sure he has Flash, too. So, I need to be somewhat smart about this, but... Oh, no. Stop taking damage. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> He's just going to Flash in response. 
I was too far away because I couldn't I couldn't get into range just to do the instant flash stun. Oh my god, I'm dead. Wow. Alright, I'm just gonna farm then. <laughs> I'm already dead, might as well get some CS. Ah, uh, that was really shitty by me. Jesus. Okay. And like I said, the Lee Sin's gonna wreck me. He does a lot of damage. I mean, I was already low anyway, so I was just kind of dead. So that's unfortunate. But I'm gonna start working to the armor. Some armor items now. I have more than enough magic assist. Sitting at 173 magic assist. I think I need uh, some health right now, so I'm probably gonna go for the giant spell, but. And then build it into a Sunfire Kit. Like I said, I don't really think I need the attack speed reduction and the uh, AoE slow. Probably not. Uh oh. Clearly, someone else is here. Yeah. So, they're trying to make some play on this guy. It's not gonna work, though. Uh. Oh, he's gonna die. Yeah. Yeah. We just got wrecked. <laughs> um, I think I might go split bottom right now. The problem is if some, like, I don't know. I really need to be fighting against Gragas or Jaime Dinger. Because if I'm fighting against either of the other guys, I'm probably going to lose. Because I literally built. Huh? What? Push top, please. I'm gonna go push bottom. <laughs> I'm already down here. I'm not gonna run all the way top right now. I can just pressure this lane and maybe draw someone over here. Then we'll have an easier time getting top. I don't know why they have so many people sitting top. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's no name from LMQ because his English is not very good. But I should be able to pressure this tower, and this is going to be way more important than getting a, the, the outer tower top lane. Who cares about that if I can get this tower? So they're getting ganked, but we're taking a dragon, and he's pushing mid, and I'm pushing bottom. Uh, it probably took a little bit too much damage there. But we should be able to get two easy towers here. Plus we got a dragon, so... And... Did we even lose anybody? Would we lose one guy? No one? We didn't lose anybody? Okay, cool. So, yeah. <laughs> we got two towers and a dragon, we didn't lose anybody. So I think the call to push bottom was good. Alright. Like I said before, I cannot fight this guy. Even though I have a two level advantage, I have ult and... Probably a pretty large gold lead on the guy. I really can't fight him. I'm gonna ward there. And just leaves. I don't want to get caught out. I'm gonna figure out this mini wave mid lane. Then I'm gonna. I'm just trying to get 17, 20, so I can back and grab the two components from my sunfire cape. So I'm gonna let this guy shove out while I go farm. Actually, never mind. I can just wait. He pushes so fast. Yeah, I don't want to fight the guy though. I don't know. I have a lot of magic resist. this. Still does decent damage though. No! I wanted that creepy trick. Alright, I have enough gold to buy my items now. Adding this extra health is going to make all the magic resist I have even more powerful. So I'm like ridiculously tanky against magic damage right now. Especially when I pop my ult, because I get extra health there, and that adds to my... Basically, you have to think about magic resist as it amplifies per health unit that you get. And same with armor, like, the more health you get, the stronger that your armor and magic resist are, because they provide like more effective HP, because you have the, a larger HP pool. Like, they both scale off each other. Like, the more health you have, the better your resist are. The more resist you have, the better it is to get health. There's, there is, like, an equilibrium point where you can determine, like, which one's better than the other, but it doesn't actually work out that way in a real game because there's always mixed damage, so you can never itemize exactly gold efficiently. Um, so bot lane's pushing for them, so that's not good for us. We're trying to siege, like, a the Baron here. Um, trying to make a play on him. 
You get a ward over there. Oh. He should be able to. Yeah. He, he should have this. He's got a hatch tanker. Wow. What, what a good buy. Holy shit. You can push mid lane. Alright. I'm coming, dog. We got a splash. I wonder if he has this warded. He does. I don't think I don't know if we can get this. I'm gonna tank, but I doubt we can actually get this. Oh he queued way early. If we just burst now, we should be fine. I'm gonna pop my ultimate here. Alright, and then we just killed Lee Sin before there's even the opportunity to smite. I have flash and this guy doesn't, so he can catch. I'm gonna flash when he tries to eat me. Alright. We should be able to finish it up now. Oh my god, real. Wow! Alright. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. The Greg has just saved that guy's life so hard. I'm shoving out the mid lane though. I'm gonna go run top lane and help this guy take tower. You should be able to take tower with both of us there. This will be really solid. Because at least we'll get some objective off of that. Because we can't really take mid because there's no outer tower anymore. So we can just take the last one here. If I didn't come, he probably still would have gotten it. But just make it a lot safer when I come. Because it gives him extra time. Oh god. Wow. This guy just wrecked someone. Alright, we should both just back here. I'm going to grab my sunfire cape now. Please don't. Don't do it. Alright, cool. I get my Sunfire now. I'm gonna grab... I'm gonna sell my trinket here. Grab this. Get a pink wood. Alright, cool. We need to get some map control. We have all the outer towers right now. And we have Baron. Like, we can just five man and poke them down with Nidalee. Get map control and start, like, rotating between two towers. Like, push out bot. Rotate between mid bot with wards. Jungle. Alright, so all you have to do is ward up their jungle, and then we can just rotate between the two towers. And, like, right now we don't really want to fight. Alright, uh, he's taking blue buff. Let me get a pink ward here. This might have been a little bit too early to drop it, but we should be able to get control. Alright, yeah. So, if we can take control of the jungle, this would be very good. No. There's a ward there. Alright, so we need to push mid. And push bot. We got the guys pushing bot now. We just have to shove mid in. They have a lot of wave there, but we have mid early poke, so... Eventually, like, we'll be able to break through. And if we have a guy splitting bot, it'll be good as well. Use my W to secure that. Uh, I'm gonna let Bane auto attack the next wave so we can get lifesteal. So if they ever overcommit to bot lane. Plus Wukong is like super strong right now. He has like a million kills. So looks like he's fighting. But he should be fine. We can take this out here. I'm just gonna stay in auto it. Alright, I'm gonna disengage now. Oh no, someone died. What? Yeah, I can run back mid and get uh, tower damage. They're all grouped up over here. You can get tower damage here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty quick at noticing that. Uh oh, red buff. JK in Italy OP. Alright. Guy has, he's not even speaking English, he's just raging. Because <laughs> he got caught out and died. Without Gragas, I'm not exactly sure who catches him. I guess Leeson caught him out. I don't know. Alright. <laughs> so, he asked if he could leave and then he left. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh. 
want to kill that orb, but I don't want to die. So, I'm going to run. I'm going to keep going this way. Wow. Are you going to lose this game because you want to AFK? Damn. We'll see. We might still be able to win 45. I don't know how likely that is. This guy has to land like a lot of spears. Uh, yeah, I don't have to do shit. Clear out that top lane. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> wow. Well, I think we can still win though. Next time, just listen to the god. When someone makes a wrong call, you don't have to listen to them. <laughs> like, what the fuck? The time is telling me I should be top lane pushing, and instead we get a dragon and two tier 2 towers instead of the top outer tower. That we probably wouldn't have gotten because it was a Heimerdinger and you can't push into that. Like, of course my decision was better there. Like, what the fuck? Oh, that dude just backed. I'm gonna die here now. Never mind. They can't land bubbles. Oh, damn, he flashed. I still have my ult, so, like, I'm okay. If he can land his ultimate here, that'd be good. Oh, you don't want to fight into that, though. What are you doing, bro? Chill. <laughs> the going to be up soon. Uh, I'm going to go get some vision. Okay. Scan the area, nothing in sight. I need to go back and get some more like health and armor. Or I can finish the Banshees here. That actually might be pretty good. Really? You're a douche. Oh my god. What an asshole. <laughs> Let's see. I think I should get a Banshees here. Damn, I don't really have a lot of magic or armor resist, but whatever. I think this will be decent. And then I can work on getting a random X next. Yeah, I think this will be good. Because now I'm going to kind of deny like Dragus ultimate and shit. Plus the extra magic damage is going to help against these two. Because I keep getting like shitted on but when I dive in this guy's towers. I mean, you can see he has a void staff, so stacking all this magic resist isn't really going to be that effective. Oh god. They're doing this a little too early. Okay. As long, hopefully we can 3D. I'm trying to dash in front even though I hit the thing just so this guy would not take all that damage. <laughs> Alright, we can do this now. Oh my god, we didn't creep block by this guy. <laughs> He's like zoning everybody out by himself. But it's actually not working very well. We have to disengage now. So that didn't work out. Nearly land some spears, we can stick around. We have good heals, so. Wukong's back, and he's had his home guard, so. They just sent someone back for that, so we should probably do this now. I have a sunfire. Oh, okay, I guess we're doing it. Wukong's. I mean, uh, Reason's over there. Oh! Yeah, I think we should back out from this. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, we're good. At least him was coming behind. I don't know if he's going to try and get aggressive on us or not. Alright, that was a really good ult. We should be able to win this fight. Vayne has ultimate as well. Good job. Secure the easy kill. He has Zonia's. He leaves himself exposed. And then we should probably just shove mid off of this. Alright. We have to mid lane immediately. We can, we can get an impib off this and then Baron. Yeah, we can definitely inhib Baron. 
guess you might be able to just end. Uh, I'm not sure though. Yeah, we should just do Baron after. Yeah, not a good idea to try and do anything else because they that is just respawn. His ultimate's like a zero second cooldown. <laughs> uh, we already pinks here, so I wanted to just scan that area, get some extra vision denial. Oh my god. And I want to just try and tank this for my team. It's already at 6k, 3k, 2k, so we easily have this secured. Oh my god, are you fucking retarded? Wow! Are you dumb? He leaves the Baron pit, doesn't smite it when it's at 500 HP. Oh my god. That was so dumb. Wow. Let me see if I can come over this wall and support this guy. I'm just killing this stupid tower. Jesus. That was so bad. That should have never happened. We should focus tower right now. I'm tanking until I have no shields, and I'm gonna back out. Okay. Good. Can we end here? We probably can. Alright, I just tanked that tower for as long as I could. I'm gonna ignite this guy. Alright, we should have this now. Okay, GG. Yeah, so, we should have, like, although that, like, ended up going okay toward the end there, that should not have happened. He should have smited the Baron and not have dashed for Gragas. He didn't even go for Gragas, he went for the guy behind him, he went for Heimerdinger. Like, at least if he's going for Gragas to deny him from coming in, that would be, like, kind of okay, but that's just really dumb. Like, you don't leave the Baron pit when it's under under 2k. Like, when it's under 2k, you're the jungler, you do not leave the pit. To go after someone who's not the other jungler? Like, I've seen it done with, like, Kha'Zix, where you jump over the back of the pit, kill their jungler, and then jump back in and smite. Like, I've seen that shit happen, but, yeah. We should have just smited there, taken Baron, and then we could have done the same exact thing that we did after anyways. Like, I'm talking about literally, like, a second. All you had to do is wait a second. And Gragas would have still tried to come and steal, but he would have already smited, because it was at, like, 50. 500 for like, I don't know, two seconds. <laughs> so, alright, hope you guys enjoyed that game. Uh, I think I played decently well. Uh, played the lane quite passive. I made I made one huge error in this, and I underestimated him. I think my build was decent overall. I would have ended up building more armor after this. Probably would have finished the randuins. And, yeah. I'm just happy it came back in the game and didn't, <laughs> didn't rage out on us. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that game. Make sure to tune in tomorrow. Peace.